hard to start much better than the Broncos did Sunday, scoring touchdowns on their first three drives. They ran the ball. They hit big plays in the passing game. They rolled to a 21-3 lead. At one point, they were averaging better than 12 yards per snap. Then, a Wilson fumble, a pair of three and outs and an interception as Washington roared back to tie the game. All of the good from the early. Drives turned into a stretch that featured 13 plays, a total of two net yards and a pair of turnovers. Overall, Denver's 33-point scoring output looks a lot better on paper than it did in practice for most of Sunday. But hey, Brandon Johnson made a heck of a play on that Hail Mary, right? The Broncos' defense is off to an inauspicious start in 2023. Timely stops? Nope. Tackling? Okay early on. Sunday afternoon and embarrassing for most of the final three quarters. Big plays? Well, they generated more pressure in week two than week one, but didn't do enough around it. They held firm on two early 45-yard drives that resulted in just three points, but then gave up 18 points in a five-minute span across halftime. That was just the start. Over Washington's last six possessions before a three and out late, the commanders went touchdown, field goal, touchdown, missed field goal, touchdown, touchdown. That's not going to cut it. The best play of the season so far from the Broncos' special teams units came compliments of dynamic rookie Marvin Mims Jr., who returned a second-quarter punt 45 yards to set up Denver's third touchdown drive. Traymond Smith had a fighting chance at recovering an onside kick late, but for the second straight week the Broncos came up just short. Punter Riley Dixon has the leg to absolutely destroy the ball, but has Miz hit too often in game action. He didn't get all of 46 or 43-yard attempts, but generated enough hang time to take any real return possibility off the board. Neither team got a kick return chance on what has become more and more than norm in the NFL with the new fair catch rules. The middle of this game cost Denver dearly. The Broncos got the ball with 147 left in the first half and started the second half with the ball and still gave up 18 points in five minutes on the game clock between the end of the second quarter and the start of the third. That shouldn't be possible. To Peyton's credit, the Broncos did fix several problems from week one. They generated more big plays on offense and perhaps found a real threat to pair with Jerry Judy in rookie wide receiver Marvin Mims Jr. At the end of the day, though, this group has a long way to go. There are, of course, 15 games left on the schedule, but of 23 teams to start 0-2 in the past three years, only Cincinnati made the playoffs and that team had Joe Burrow at quarterback. Peyton started 0-2 five times in his New Orleans career and made the playoffs once. The way this team has played the first two weeks, it would take his most surprising turnaround yet.